when they announced that it was Guys and Dolls, um, that's a show that I have a long and storied history with. When I directed it for The Billion, it was my 10th production. That was a really fun group of people. I, I really lucked out. It says here, the average unmarried female, basically insecure, due to some long frustration may react with psychosomatic symptoms difficult to endure affecting the upper respiratory tract in other words just from waiting around for that plain little band of gold a person can develop a cold you can spray it wherever you figure the strapped a cock i learned you can give her a shot for whatever she's got, but it just won't work. If she's tired of getting the fish eye from the hotel clerk, a person can develop a cold. It says here, the female remaining single, just in the legal sense, shows an erotic tendency note see note what no they don't see oh there's a note look at that that's so clever chronic organic syndromes toxic or hypertense involving the eye and the ear and the nose and throat in other words just from worrying whether the wedding is on or off a person can develop a cough. You can feed her all day with the vitamin A and the bromo fees, but the medicine never gets anywhere near where the trouble is. If she's getting a kind of a name for herself and the name ain't his, a person can develop a cough. And furthermore, just from stalling and stalling and stalling the wedding trip, a person can develop a grip. When they get on the train for Niagara and she can hear church bells chime, the compartment is air conditioned and the mood sublime. Then they get off in Saratoga for the 14th time. A person can develop la grip, la grip, la post nasal drip with the wheezes and the sneezes and a sinus that's really a pip from a lack of community property and a feeling she's getting too old. A person can develop a pain. 